So the first of March, three days into our freshman year of college, we see a circular to WhatsApp up. Unlike the common circulars we actually received, this one was controversial. It was a little too controversial. And it said, and I quote, as it is a predominantly male college, women are meant to dress properly. <clears throat> Being teenagers with our extremely rebellious and woke personalities, we didn't take it into properly. And that's where we started plotting our revenge, our reply, our middle finger followed by a scream. F*** y'all patriarchy. And with many brainstorming sessions and choosing a few absurd ideas, we take our own sweet time and then calm down and choose a little subtle form of a direct f*** you, inspired by the rawness of the poem Mrs. Beast. We try recreating her and how the society conditions women to be Miss Perfect and all tolerant women and standing against the stereotypes of a woman with that, we have our painting in a very odd book-like format where Mona Lisa on the cover is in her full glory, signifying beauty and tradition and culture. But remembering the cliche quote, never judge a book by its cover. The book opens up with the screams of women being confined in an iron maiden, with the spikes being the norms of the society of how a woman should be and all the things that women need to tolerate and obey and do against their very own will. And just like a book, there are words that resonate within a woman, haunting her, taunting her, and driving her all crazy in her head. And like every book, there is an ending. And our book ends with how society slaps a label across women. Like a tattoo on a woman's back as being submissive, and tattoo saying submissive. Our painting takes a deeper dive into the abstract feelings and rage inside a woman's head. The book form of the canvases is meant to imitate the Iron Maiden a medieval torture device. Some Iron Maidens had something similar to the Virgin Mary outside, while on the inside there are many spikes. A person is enclosed in this device. So while on the outside it may seem okay, opening it reveals the hideous inside. Darwin's Mona Lisa is painted on the front because we felt that it is such a famous icon and is often considered the pinnacle of art. To us, this represents the perfect outside there is no face for two reasons. One, to make it wildly religible, and two, to show how unremarkable she is. She fits into the mold of the society perfectly. All those around her admire her without knowing what's on the inside. She is painted in a pop art style symbolizing how modern society interprets older wisdom. And Woo Boy, the inside. We used a Jackson Pollock painting to emphasize the raw, impulsive emotions. We later added Munch's scream to emphasize the pain she was feeling. The painting also represents that the individual is the only one feeling the pain. We also scrawled phases we liked from Mrs. Beast by Carol and Duffy. Finally, the backside. It was quite accidental that we had an extra canvas on the back, but we made sure to use the best of it. Our motive was the Iron Maiden, but we're also representing a woman. So it would make perfect sense to show the back of the woman. The woman carries herself strong, like a geisha. However, the kanji means submission.